When I first saw the bronze act gear in my original playthrough, I had no idea what it was. So Curious Waffles made it and decided to try it out. It was an absolute stamina hog, and I wasn't used to that at all, so it became a display ornament and nothing else. That is, until I started delving deep into Valheim beyond my playthrough. I read more and more about how effective act gears actually are, and how many people really swear by them. So I decided to give them a shot, and good lord did they impress me. Now I think they're one of the most fun weapons to wield, and I think they're one of the most versatile, despite being almost exclusively piercing damage. Act gears are simply awesome weapons, in the right hands. They're a two-handed polearm, and they can be effective against a wide variety of enemies, if you know how to wield them. Otherwise, they could mean certain death, because again, they can be stamina hogs. So, let's take some time to use all the various act gears in the game, fighting their respective enemies, and let's just talk about how the weapons handle, and just have some fun along the way. Now, of course, this is not going to be a scientific video. I'm not using the respective gear, I haven't changed my character's skill level, and I'm using endgame foods. This is just a general O to act gears and seeing how the weapon handles, how it actually stabs, how the whirly twirly is, and just me appreciating the weapon in general. So take this video with a grain of salt, nothing scientific here, this is mainly just me having fun with act gears. As you can see, we're starting out with the iron act gear and I enacted the event, a foul smell from the swamp. We've got a bunch of Draugr and skeletons to fight, I brought myself to an open field to do this so terrain wouldn't be that much of a difficulty, but you can see there's not a whole lot of issues going on. On. There's there's multiple enemies attacking me, and the ant gear is handling it just fine. I'm kind of allowing myself to get surrounded here and there, and yeah, the ant gear's piercing damage is not very effective against skeletons. But me being a little OP for this particular scenario means that it's not a very big deal. But that's okay. We're not looking for a massive challenge. We're just looking to play with the ant gear a little bit. And even though this kind of goes through their ribs, it's okay. And that was a great parry right there. I jump and I have no stamina. But no problem. We can just we can get enough stamina to do the whirly twirly, and we'll we'll do a couple good stabs right there. I think the whirly twirly of the act here, the uh, the secondary attack, is definitely one of the best, most effective attacks against the widest variety of enemies. It's a very versatile weapon. I really love that it can hit more than just like two or three enemies at a time if you do the whirly twirly, and oftentimes it staggers many many enemies. As you can see, the smell is gone. The event is over. It went pretty quick. I skipped around just a little bit, but yeah, we're just gonna take out the stragglers and that's that's gonna be pretty much it. Allow myself to get a little surrounded there, but it's just no problem for the whirly twirly of the act gear. And yeah, I just kind of walked around the attack of that Draugr and yeah, it's a, it's a great little fight right there. <laughs> a great first event, but it was no trouble whatsoever. So we're going to switch things up just a little bit. We're going to break out the Iron Act gear again, and we're going to go to a nice flat plains, and we're going to allow ourselves to be hunted by wolves. In my experience, I think this is one of the most hectic events out there. Wolves kind of spawn quickly, they're fast, and they have really quick recoveries, and they'll just jump right in and attack you again. But if you have the right weapon, I think it's not that big of a difficulty, because when you have something like an Ag gear, you have something that can attack multiple enemies at once. And this Deathskeeto, come on, you helped me once, but <laughs> you, were, you were coming at me, so you gotta go. But yeah, the Ag gear has reach, it's got a great sweep, and I just think it's a very, very effective weapon to handle enemies like this, multiple enemies at once, where the wolves like to overwhelm you. And as you can see right now, I'm kind of doing a, a relatively decent job at dispatching them quickly before I get overwhelmed. But that will soon change when I run out of stamina. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely out of stamina now, and I'm going to have to walk around a little bit, kind of do a little half jump. And yeah, the wolves will start piling up because I can't really do anything about it. So now we got three right there. Okay, now four. Alright, I can use the swirl attack and everything's fine. They all get pushed back and they get damaged and often staggered and it's just one of the most effective parts of the act gear. Definitely a fantastic secondary attack. We were in danger, but now we're pretty much just not in danger. And if you actually have a little bit of stamina, the secondary attack is just so much fun to use. Another couple stabs and the event is over. And well, I guess we can take care of the stragglers.
But uh, that's pretty much it with this event. I mean, it was it was a lot of fun. It got a little hectic, but it wasn't too bad. So let's change things up and we'll create some absolute pure chaos. Not going to enact an event over here. We're just going to aggro as many fuelings as we possibly can. And as you may be able to predict, I improperly prepared for this event. I'm wearing the root chest piece and I forgot to use my fire potion before I actually jumped in there. Ugh. I'm an idiot, I'm dead, but we're back, and I am ready this time. I've got a fire potion already going, and we're just gonna start stabbing. We're going to allow all of these guys to come and play, because it's time to party. I know, past few videos I've been saying I am not in the mood for partying, but now is definitely the partying time. <laughs> I just, I felt like it would be fun to see what it would take if, if this weapon could actually handle all <laughs> an entire fueling village. This is, this is definitely a very dangerous scenario and it takes a lot of patience, but it is doable. And as you saw, I did pop a bone mass. I am using the black metal act gear, but with the proper gear, with the proper stuff, this is possible. And I'm going to show you that it is indeed possible. Well, <laughs> not without significant effort, but we're going to have some fun with this. We're going to use a lot of, a lot of the, uh, secondary attacks we're gonna ride some of them and it's it's gonna take a few potions but we're gonna have some fun the Akir can handle a situation like this. If you remain as squirrely as possible, if you continuously try to walk around and you allow yourself to slowly regain stamina and not just constantly allow yourself to get swarmed, it's it's not too bad. Although I am not good at following my own advice, especially in post, especially after the fact. So I'm just, I'm, I'm working my way through it, you know? I'm trying to work the problem. I'm trying to slowly gain stamina back and we're just, we're slowly taking out enemies. It's okay we're making do we're making our progress and we're not dead yet is that foreshadowing i don't know is that probably not maybe who knows we'll see <laughs> i'm slowly picking away at enemies we're trying to gain some stamina and just pick them off one by one that shaman is finally dead i do kind of want to prioritize the shaman because while i do have a fire resistance meet going I, you know it's not great to be on fire and that just it is hindering it does still hurt and as far as the root heart nest goes it's still just it's really squishy to fire even though i am wearing that potion wearing it that's right i just pour it all over my body that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fueling berserker raging, and we've got this fueling alone, so we might as well just take it out while we have the chance. And yeah, these uh, these shaman definitely still just put shields on everybody, and that's a, a great incentive to get rid of them as well as the you know, the whole fire thing. But we've got a Deskito that joined the party, but I'm very resistant to Pierce. They're just not even a nuisance. They are below nuisance level. Now that berserker is dead, and we can focus just lower to the ground because these guys are really short. And man, the uh, the world save little lag right there is never fun but yeah we've got some fueling stragglers and okay let's let's take out this shaman you will no longer be able to put shields on random death skeetos because you're dead fantastic much much better we got another one over here and yeah okay you've already got a shield on you why are you trying to put another one on you and this death skeeto also has a shield but it's okay block and stab we're done. We did it. We survived despite the chaos. And I move back into the village and I take out the rest of the fuelings. This one on the roof over here. Good old stabby stab takes that one out. And then we've got two in here. And I don't know, that one, even though I was on top of it, it didn't see me. But the other one did. And it's okay. I desecrate their altar as one does. And I take out the additional stragglers on, on these, uh, these towers. It's great. We got one more down here, and the feather cape is, is just such a great item. <laughs> but that's it. I dance in the center of the village, and the village has been conquered. But we're not done. I want to take out some Seekers. We've still got the him and awful left to play with. And so I found some nice flat space, created a little staging ground over here, and we're going to enact this event. They sought you out. I've never seen this event personally. I think it probably should be named differently. They sought you out. Uh, okay. I think there's another event that says like the queen sends her army or something like that, but I'm not sure. But this is the Seeker event, and it's... Uh, 
pretty boring to be honest. These these seeker broods, they're they're pretty much nothing, but they just sent like one, maybe two seekers at once, and I didn't have any trouble with this whatsoever. So what's what's going on here? They this is I don't know. Maybe the seeker uh, the seeker event is bugged. <laughs> see what I see what I did there. Seeker event, bugs, seekers are bugs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but the event is already over. Yeah, GG easy. I don't know what's going on there. So I wasn't satisfied. I returned to the arena and I just started spawning seekers. We've got four here and this is going to be a lot of fun. Or is it? No, I mean, yeah, definitely fun, but also not very chaotic because they're just regular seekers and I have a weapon that's kind of designed to handle them very effectively. So I wasn't going to stop there. I was not going to be done with just that. We wanted to do the, we want to do this right. We wanted to create a little more chaos. So three one-star seekers had to come out to play. And I know I could have dodged there, but I, I wanted to take a hit because of reasons. I don't know. I wanted to kind of test the root hardness because it does have a very strong resistance to piercing damage. And yeah, it's just a great addition for fighting seekers and the like. And we have a random grayling over there that wanted to come and say hi, but uh, that one-star seeker right there just took it out instantly. What'd you expect? <laughs> you don't come to a party that's already going and just invite yourself when when all these guys right here, all the cool people are already at the party. <laughs> no, definitely invite yourself to parties. It's it's a really good thing to do because hey, you may not have been invited. He may not originally have been invited, but hey, you can you can bring a little life to the party as well. And I think that Grayling did indeed bring some life to this party um, yeah weird little tangent right there but those one star seekers weren't that big of a difficulty so i just brought out one two star seeker maybe i should have done two because this guy was really just easy and it seemed like maybe i accidentally spawned a drunk two star seeker because this one can't seem to hit me at all this one had previously been to a different party and it was just pretty much just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. It couldn't hit me, but that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. There's nothing scientific about this video. It's just me having fun with At Gears. And I hope you had a little fun along the way as well. If you did, let me know in the comments, leave a like, subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see you in the next one.